OK, you also were introduced to something else, but we're going to raise it to a science now. It becomes official in college algebra. H of X. Right here, we're dealing with the function H of X equals 2X. Well, up till now, most of the time, you may have called this Y equals 2X. That's not scary. You're used to that by now. But now that we're dealing so heavily with functions, we're going to get official. And the fact is that Y is most often written as F of X or H of X or U of X or V of X or Z of X. That's function notation for Y. All it means is why. But in particular, what this really means is, what does the function H, a function is just like a formula. Think formula when you see function. What does the function function What does the function um, H equal for each particular X on the X axis? For each particular number on the X axis? Four each particular number on the x-axis. So rather than make an X and a Y chart, um, what you do is you write the following. But first, let me go over here. If you were back in beginning algebra, then what you would do is you would write this. You would make an X and a Y chart. Remember those? An X and a Y chart. I can't draw a straight line if my life depends on it. Notice that this number negative four is in the parentheses. That means it's the X coordinate. 17 is the X coordinate. 29 is the X coordinate. And then since Y equals 2X, what you would do is this. You would say, well, that would be 2 times negative 4 equals negative 8. You would use the X for that X right there. 2 times negative 4 would be negative 8. 2 times 17 is 34. 2 times 29. See, if you're doing this by hand, you would say 2 times 9 is 18. Carry the 1. 2 times 2 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. And that would be 58. Of course, you can always use your calculator here. I don't have a problem with it. Well, now we write it differently. Instead of making an X and a Y chart, we write this, but it says exactly the same thing. What is Y when X equals negative 4, 17, and 29? 
And so the way we write it now is like this. Negative eight. H of negative four is negative eight. H of 17 is 34. H of 29 is 58. And so it's like making an X and a Y chart. It's exactly the same thing. Let's do it again. Here we have the function k of x equals 8x plus 4. That's really just a fancy way of saying y equals 8x plus 4. Okay, let's look at how they got their answers. Um, I'm going to come over here and do it. Let me erase that. Okay. If I have k of x, which is really just y, k of x equals 8x plus 4. Okay, now k of 52 equals 8 times 52. Notice it goes where the x is, plus 4. And K of, uh, <clears throat> it's not 52, that's the answer. All right. But if 52 had been in the parentheses, that's what we'd have. No, I have to look here. K of 6. Equals 8 times 6 plus 4. That means I've got 48 plus 4 which is 52. Yes, another, this is coffee, another hit of coffee. <clears throat> okay, K of negative one. Equals eight times negative one plus four which is go uh, going to be negative eight plus four, which is negative four. Now they're nasty and they give us a decimal. I don't like people who do things like that. Of course, I chose the problem. Eight times 6.8 plus four. Time to pull out the calculator. This is the recommended calculator right here. A hard version of it. However, this calculator is wonderful and you can download it to your computers and I don't know if you can download it to your tablets. You'll have to find out. But you get a free 90 day trial. And I've already been able to re up once. I'm hoping they'll let me re up again. This is called the TI Smart View. TI Smart View. Uh, let me write it somewhere. TI Smart View. If you go to TI, Texas Instruments, their website, or if you just type in TI Smart View into a browser, uh, go take a look. Okay, um, you'll see it's very easy to download, very easy to install, at least I had no problems with it. But I have a PC. I don't know about apples. You can do the research. Anyway, where's my calculator? Here it is. There now. Okay. This calculator is so great. It has parentheses. It has a negative key to make numbers negative. And of course it has 
add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Um, it's just terrific. I love it. Okay, but stop talking and do the work, Barbara. Eight parentheses, six point eight close parentheses plus four. Enter. And I get the answer 58.4. which they get to, doggone. Okay, this is just a new way of making an X and Y table. Does exactly the same thing. Notice that this is not K times six, what would that be? This is code. Everything you do in math is a code for something else. And what this is a code for is put six in for X and calculate the answer. And the answer is gonna be Y. So here's another little miscellaneous fact. What I've just done here is I've found points on the line Y up y equals 8x plus 4. This is the point 652. This is the point negative 1, negative 4. And this is the point 6.8, 58.4. And you could graph those numbers. You probably would not unless it were really important to you. Okay. Now, let's do this one too, because notice you have variables in two places. You have the X in two places. That means you're going to put these X coordinates in two places. It's also a good chance to learn how to use the calculator. We're going to have f of x equals 2x squared. I'm writing big, so I'll have, I'll, I'll have room to put x in for these numbers. Minus 3x. All right, so f of 0 is going to be 2 times 0 squared minus three times zero. If you go on to calculus, you'll find out that we don't like to talk about zero squared. It's something called an indefinite form, uh, but you still treat it like a zero. So this is gonna be two times zero minus three times zero. That gives you zero minus zero, which is zero. Simple as that. All right, F of Negative one puts a negative one in for each X. And F of two puts a two in for every X. Now you can of course do this in your head, but I just want to do this on the calculator to give you a feel for it. Okay, what I'm going to do is type this so I can see this, and then I'll make it big for you. Um, two parentheses, I better make it big now. All right, because the negative one the negative sign comes from this key down here, not the minus key up there. And then I want to square it. I want to uh, put the exponent 2. Exponent 2 is so common it has its own key. Right there. And then minus 3 parentheses negative 1 parentheses closed. Enter. 
and there you have a five. Now we're going to do the same thing with the next number, which is two. So we'll have two parentheses, two, close parentheses, squared, minus three, parentheses, two. Enter. So my answer should be five and two. Let's take a look. Yay! Okay, zero, five, two. There you go, and I'm gonna save this before something horrible can happen. <laughs>